Hey, shalom, shalom. All praise is honor. Glory goes to Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Racha Kwadash. Double honor to the apostles, Elder Bishop, the Great Millstone, who rule well. Peace and blessings to you, fellow brothers, pushing this word in truth and sincerity. Coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Racha Kwadash. Shalom, shalom to all the believers out there, uh, to the 144,000 and the rest of the elect that call on the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. You know, in this wicked, evil time, this demonic time where the biblical Edomites would have the biblical Israelites in captivity to the very day, our Lord Yahweh Shai, who the world entering calls Christ, Jesus, right, comes and destroys the wicked. All right, America, and as well as the rest of the kings, the rest of the nations all around the earth, and delivers his elect. Now, I didn't have anything in particular. This would just kind of like turn it on the recorder. I'm going to go to Second Ezra, the ninth chapter. I'm going to start at the top. One thing that did come to my mind, though, was, um, you know, there's going to be an influx of so-called domestic terrorism. That's going to be the new... That's going to be the new boogeyman or one of the one of the new boogeymans, which that's going to be weaponized against, you know, these populations starting here with America, the West, that these domestic terrorists or uh, foreign incels uh, from these different uh, places that, you know, that have been flooding the border. That's that's going to be another terror um, upon uh, Babylon, a great uh, pretty much being uh, filled with men. The scriptures talk about that, how the Lord, he will he will fill he will fill uh, America with men. Because this place, this place, this that, that. Well, that's part of the collapse. OK, it's flooding in the borders. This is Sec Ezra nine and one. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before. So we're seeing the different signs. You know, uh, nation rising against nation, earthquake in diverse places. Okay, um, uh, bolsters, men's loving, men loving themselves, uh, false prophets. Okay, uh, people coming in and saying that they're saviors. You know, all type, all type of madness, uh, false miracles, right? Uh, false prophets, false teachers. Okay. It says, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Okay, the highest, Yahweh. Okay, through his son, Yahweh Shai. They're visiting this place. Let me go Second Ezra, the 15th chapter. I'm sorry. Yeah. Let me go Second Ezra, 15th chapter. Bear with me. Because it says something that we want. I'm going to kind of jump to the, the point. Bear with me. Right, there we go. So this is Second Ezra 15. And. And 11. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm. And smite Egypt with plagues. Okay, spiritual Egypt is America. Okay, Revelation 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the great city, which is spiritually Sodom and Egypt. Which America fulfills both of those ancient kingdoms. They they come in the spirit of both of those ancient kingdoms. Sodom. I mean, that's self-explanatory. Okay. in Egypt, which is representative of a wicked kingdom. Okay. A demonic kingdom in which all 12 tribes were in captivity. Okay. Under the Egyptians. Uh, hard rigor. And the modern day Egyptians now. Are the Edomites? Give me a bit. Let me let me get across the street. The modern day pharaohs, okay, are the Edomites, okay, and they're doing exactly what the ancient Egyptians did. Well, they Esau loves the uh, Egypt. The true Egyptologists, you know, like our people that's in the conscious, so-called conscious community. The Egyptologists, 
Well, the, 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 the true Egyptologists were Edomites. There was an individual, he was French, I, I forget his name, it's at the tip of my tongue, but he was, he's pretty much like the father of Egyptology. It was an Edomite. Uh, Napoleon, uh, what was it? I forget the guy's name. But Esau, he'll, he'll go up and he'll, he'll dig up all those ancient artifacts and decipher, you know, the different uh, texts and, and look deep into their uh, culture. You know, oh, they, they, they used to, they had beer, you know, they was inter, um, you know, they were intermarrying with each other. They had a lot of incest. Esau does that. He did a lot of incest amongst Esau. Uh, all type of wicked things. Right. It says, and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. Is, is it talking about ancient Egypt? No. The actual uh native egyptians are not even there they were pushed down south in the sudan you have arabs that occupy that land well you got a lot of you you had the arabs they they invaded um the land of ham multiple times okay they they came and uh conquered a uh, conquer a lot of those regions when our people were scattered within those regions they also you know took our people put them in a in a in slave trade the east you can type in the east east african slave trade OK, there's many names to that, but you had uh, those 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 Arabs that came in there. So you got like uh, what's it called? Yemen, not Yemen, uh, Algeria uh, was it? you had um, is that Syria. Uh, not so much Morocco, but in that in that, yeah, you could even say somewhat Morocco. That's more no, more nor, northern Africa. You got a lot of uh, Arabs that are mingled in there. OK, so it's not it's not talking about them. It's talking about spiritual Egypt. So before the Lord completely destroys spiritual Egypt, he's going to smite it like he did before. And we all we all know about the plagues. OK, of of Egypt, you have botches, you have flies, you have frogs, you have blood turning red. You had a uh, disease of cattle. You had the the. You had the, the plague of darkness. All right. And that, that final plague also I didn't I didn't name all of them. But the final plague also was you had also had lice. The final plague was the, the firstborn. All the firstborn of every living being died amongst those Egyptians. Now, this time around, the most is going to plague uh, the modern day Egyptians. You, well, you got the impox. You got the impox making speed. You already got people that are going back to the spiritual world because of the last uh, medicine they took you know and um it's only going to get worse from here for these people okay so the lord he's going to smite egypt again with plague this this is this is the heavenly father visiting america you got you got different uh plagues here in america okay just give me a second Give me a second. Let me go back to Second Ezra nine, right? Second Ezra nine and three. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, in Luke twenty one, it talks about great earthquakes. Okay, so great earthquakes. When 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 we're finally at the end end, we're, we're at the end end. But when we're at the cl the climactic um, uh, uh, time, we're at the, the pinnacle. When we're in Jacob's trouble, there's going to be all type of unex so-called unexplainable things. OK, uh, weather events. Remember Esau, he, he put he's pushing this uh, this climate, this climate change. So he, he has on the books climate lockdowns. So you can have a, a major earthquake that destroyed shit. Uh, you know, a whole a whole town. Well, I, I was watching Dabu. He's still bugging out. He don't know what the hell is going on. Dabu seven. You know, they were, you know, it, it's, you know, it's a lot of a lot of talk about, you know, Esau's probably going to do Well, we know. He plays with the weather, do something to where, you know, some type of 
earthquake that causes a tsunami that, that floods up, flo- floods like a whole a whole island, you know, destroy every the whole island or whatever it may be. We know he's playing with it. Or the most high can just rock this place. Okay, you got a lot of faults. And then you got places that, you know, that don't really have faults that 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 are that are having earthquakes. Those those earthquakes in diverse places. Okay, and uproars of the people. You had you got so many uproars. You got Sudan that's collapsing. Bangladesh that collapsed a while back. There was another there's another one of those Elamite uh, countries. I did a video on it. They they pretty much their, their economy is collapsing. You, the UK is collapsing. <laughs> all really all of Europe is collapsing. China is collapsing. All all these nations are collapsing. The fiat currency is collapsing. That's this is why they're bringing in uh, digital currency CBDCs. So it can be a clean transition into you know uh, a, a digital digital. Uh, payments a digital payment platform in which they're going to use that as means of control tracking tracing and controlling the 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 whole known population this is what these the globalists which we know as the edomites okay the wicked elite bankers their hand is in the earth right now okay and and we're in a position here in america where you have very very unwavering times you got times where this uh presidential election it, it's like a coin flip no nobody wins it's going to be chaos regardless they might um then it's talks that um war might start before the even the election so they can cancel the elections okay russia russia is preparing you got america that's sending hella troops sending hella troops Hella battleships. You got those those air preparing for war. Well, that's uh, what is that? Joel. Uh, what is that? Joel, the second chapter. Am I getting something mixed up? Some, I'm getting something mixed up. But the scripture says prepare war. Let all the mighty men of war draw near. Let the right. Let the weak say I'm strong. Th- that's what's going on right now. OK, th- these are the signs. Okay, then shall thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Now, the, the Lord is speaking really to those that have ears to hear. The rest of these individuals, they're, they're just, they're, they can't, they can't piece the puzzles together. Was it Isaiah 29? I, re- I read that scripture earlier in the lesson. Like, I believe it's Isaiah 29 and 9. Cry ye out and wonder. You know, they stagger. Uh, they stagger, uh, but not with, with, with wine. Right. They are drunken, but not with wine. They stagger, but not with strong drink. You got you got our people that are, are drunk, drunk off of philosophy, doctrine, drunk off of pretty much uh, uh, Babylonian juice. <laughs> That's that wine. That wine, that wine was given to Jake. It was, Jake was forced to drink that wine. And the most High still has a reprobate spirit on. Him. He's not opening them up. OK, so we can we can see. For like as all that is made in the world has a beginning and an end and the end is manifest, meaning it's made clear. Okay, that the end, the end of this society, the end of Esau, like it says in Sirach the 10th chapter. Okay, the translation. Okay, of one one nation goes down, another nation comes up. Now, see, these nations, they understand that. And this is why it's inevitable, you know, because. You know, within so many years, um, a nation has to fall. That's just the way that it, that's that's literally the way that it's been since the beginning. The Most High puts down one, and He sets up another. Now, in this case, the Most High is getting ready to put down all these nations. Okay, Yahweh Shah, let me get that. Uh, Revelation nineteen, nineteen eleven. Right. I, Revelation 19, 11. And I saw heaven open and behold, a white horse. This is Yahweh Shai coming through the, the coming into this dimension with the chariot. The white horse represents the chariot. And he asked and, and he that sat upon him. He the one that was controlling the chariot upon him was called faithful and true. And in righteousness, he does judge and make war. 
So, yeah, we're in that time of war. Hopefully somebody didn't tell you something different. OK, if you if your algorithm wasn't stuck on basketball and and dance movies and you know, whatever, whatever the folly that's out there, the challenges, if you just not aimlessly scrolling on fucking TikTok. Your, your whole life is about eating, drinking and being merry. Well, yeah, of course you can't see it. It looks like everything will continue like like it's been continuing. And that's the spirit that our people take up, take upon themselves. OK, but we we we, t- we have a different spirit. All right. We can see we can see in this darkness. OK, the gross darkness, that light, that light is shining upon us where we have the light. OK, which is the understanding of the scriptures. OK. It says his eyes were as a flame of fire and on his head were many crowns. See, so Yahweh Shai is coming to wage a righteous war and take off the crowns of these different nations. OK. And and he had a name written that no man knew but himself. So there there you go. Yahweh Shai is, is coming to take down this current rulership. OK. Let me. um. Let me go back to Second Ezra nine. Second Ezra nine and six. Even so, even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs and every one that yeah, pow- powerful works, signs, okay, signs of the heaven, you know, blood, moon, solar eclipses. You know, different meteors, you know, all, all, all type of these things that we can see and understand that that's, you know, this is the time. OK. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape. Right. Because you, you, you nobody's going to escape this unless you are part of the elect. OK, well, let me let me get a scripture on that. OK, give me a second. Bear with me. Jeremiah 50 and 29. Call call together the archers against Babylon. See, who, who are the archers? Those those that have nuclear capability. OK, so the Lord put the spirit on the angels to 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 rally up the different nations to come against Babylon. Those that have missiles. Because how, how are they going to attack Ma- uh, Babylon, America? Are they going to do a, a, a invade, a ground invasion? Nah, America's not going to be ground invaded. America's going to be uh, invaded by those that shoot, you know, the archers, the those that shoot missiles. That that's the type of war that we're in now. We're n- we're no longer. Well, tell you know what? Let me get that in Isaiah. It tells you that. Okay, it tells you that this this is we're in a different type. This this will be a different type of war. Isaiah the ninth chapter. OK. Isaiah nine and five for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. See, so this is going to be a different a different type of war. This war that's 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 taking place. OK, it's not going to be a war of old in which, you know, confused noise, bloods rolled in garment, you know, swords. And, you know, it's, it's not going to be that type of war. It's going to be. They, they uh, these nations are going to take a, a hard stance to give them Amer- against America. They all going to agree with each other to shoot the missile at the same time. Jeremiah 50 and 29 call together the archers against Babylon. All ye that bend the bow. So any 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 nation that has nuclear capability. OK, they that they're, they're able to bend the bow because what what's the bow and arrow? What's the modern day bow and arrow? OK, well, a bow and arrow, what does it do? It shoots a projectile. OK, what, what is a missile? A projectile. OK, and, and, and it's modern. The, the technology has increased from just, you know, wood and, and string and, and, a, and an arrowhead. OK. Yep, it says camp against it roundabout. OK, point all your missiles towards Babylon on all sides. Let none thereof escape. See? Let none escape. Recompense her according to her work, according to all that she has done. 
do unto her for she has been proud against the Lord, against the Holy One of Yasha Allah. Therefore shall her young men fall in the streets and all her men of war shall be cut off in that day, said the Lord power. See. Behold, I am against thee, O thou most proud, right? In which the, that most proud is speaking about uh, America, which, which who who controlled America, the Edomites. Said the Lord of hosts, for thy day is come, the time that I will visit thee. Just let's go back to uh, Second Ezra, the ninth chapter, because did we not read in it also in Second Ezra 15 how the Most High will visit this place? The Lord, when we now start to see the signs, you know, part of the signs pass. Then then thou shalt know that it's the most I that shall, you know, I'm not quoting verbatim that that shall visit. It's the most I that's visiting this place. OK. Second answer nine. Let me read seven again. And, and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his work. So the only ones that are going to be able to escape this are the elect and by faith, whereby ye have believed Cause this thing is is. Uh, pretty much all this is all about faith. We can't prove we can't pull the most high down here. See, see, see the so-called black man. See, look, look at this. Point. This is what he said. He now he tells you, look, this is what I'm going to do. Well, the people still wouldn't believe it. OK, he's just going to fulfill what he's going to do. He's going to do what he said he was going to do. Shall be preserved from the said perils, those different plagues that are coming and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. For I have sanctified for me. I'm sorry, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. OK, because so the uh, you know, the pretty much the most high he has chosen who he, who he has chosen to, you know, uh, make it out of here. And the those that he has not chosen to make it out of here, you're going to you're going to get burned up. You're going to be burned up in that time. So I'm, I'm going to close it there until next time. Shalom to the legs.